In this video, I'm going to talk about what are matrices, creating matrices in Octave MATLAB, indexing elements in matrices, and a wrap up with a summary. What is a matrix? A matrix is a two dimensional set of elements organized into rows and columns with brackets. If you have n by m matrix, it means you have n numbers of row and then m numbers of columns. Mathematically, the matrix can be written using the square brackets with two dimensional set of elements having space between elements both horizontally and vertically. To refer to each element in matrix, typically we use two different subscripts. The first subscript i represents the row number and the second subscript j represents the column number. So A subscript 1, 2 means the element in the first row and the second column. Let's talk about how to create a matrix. A simple approach is to use a square bracket. Since the matrix is 2D element arrangement, we need to use empty space as a column separator and the semicolon as a row separator. To create the matrix A, type A equals sign bracket with the elements for the first row. The 3, 5, and minus 1 followed by semicolon and continue to type the set of the element in the second row 7, 8, 5 followed by semicolon and finish the rest of them. To access the element in the matrix, you can use a parenthesis with a row and the column numbers with a comma as a separator. To access to the element in the second row and third column, you can type A parenthesis with 2 comma 3. You can see 5. You can also use brackets or column operators for multiple indices. For example, you can use bracket 1 and 3 to access to the first and third row to see minus 1 and 2. You can also use 1 colon 2 for the first two rows. You can use a colon only and it means it will select the entire rows. You can also use this approach for the column indices. There are a few useful built-in functions to create common matrices. The first of all, the identity matrix is a matrix having element of 1 in the diagonal position and 0 elements in the remaining. For the n by n identity matrix, you can use i function. For 3 by 3 identity matrix i, you can type i equals sign followed by i3. If you want to create a n by n matrix with all elements of 1's, you can use 1's n. If you have non-square matrix, you can use 1's n comma m. For example, b equals sign 1's 3 create a 3 by 3 matrix b with 1's. And then b equal 1's 3 comma 5 create 3 by 5 matrix B with 1's. Similarly, you can create matrix C with all the elements of zeros using zeros n or zeros n comma m. For 3 by 3, for 3 by 5, you can use zeros 3 comma 5. If you have random numbers between 0 and 1 in your matrix as shown in the slide, you can create such a matrices using rand n or rand n comma m for square or non-square matrix. For 3 by 3 matrix, you can use rand 3 or you can create 3 by 5 matrix by typing rand 3 comma 5. If you want to rearrange the elements of the existing matrix or vector, the reshape function can be used. The reshape function requires the matrix, row, and column sizes that you want to reshape. For example, you can create given matrix E by creating a row vector X from 1 through 12 as a dummy and then rearrange it into the 3 by 4 matrix using the reshape function. Since my elements is starting from 1 through 12 in a matrix form, I create x 1 through 12 as a row vector and then reshape them using reshape function. So I start with x and then row size 3 followed by column size 4. The total numbers of the elements of the reshaped matrix should be the same as before. You can combine existing matrices into one either column direction or row direction. To combine two existing matrices, the column or row size should be the same. 
I will show you how to combine matrix C and D in column or row directions. For matrix H, matrices C and D are combined in the column direction with the brackets and space between C and D. For matrix J, matrices C and D are combined in the row direction with the brackets semicolon between C and D. You can keep adding the matrices as long as they comply the size of matrices. You can check the size of matrix using size function. There are two outputs from the size function, one for row size and the other for column size. To save two outputs, I use row and column and followed by size H. Now you can see row size is 3 and column size is 10. You often need the larger dimension only between row and column, and you can use a length function. So the larger dimension of matrix H is 10. In summary, we talked about what are matrices, creating matrices in octave method, and indexing elements in matrices. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.